Hello, in this Dart programming video, we are going to start functions. It's going to be a basic function to start with. So, what is a function? This right here is a function. It's the default one that, that all Dart applications require, but it is still a function. A function allows you to group some code and it allows you to call that code at a later date. And the benefit of using functions is not only is it good for organizing and tidying your code, if, for example, you have some sort of complex algorithm, maybe like 50 lines of code, like really, really complex, you spent a lot of time doing it, but you need to use it, let's say, 20 different places in your application, instead of duplicating that code 20 times, which has problems such as redundancy. So if you were to uh, you know, try and maintain it, update it, fix bugs, you'd have to do it in every single instance. If you just put inside a function, you just call that function, everywhere that function is called, any update that you make to that function will be, you know, you know propagated throughout. That's the benefit of functions. To implement a function, really simple. You just put void, then the function name. So I'm gonna say epic name, open close brackets, then the curly braces. In here, you put whatever code you want. I'm simply gonna have a simple print I'm going to say hello world. You can have many lines as you want as well. In subsequent videos, I am going to cover more complex code as well, more complex functions. But if we were to run this, let's see what we get. We, we don't get anything. My thinking, well, there's no error, didn't crash. Why is nothing being printed? And that is because we need to call this function. Without calling it, it does not get you know initiated. And you know, you might also be thinking, well, we never called this one, we didn't, but the compiler for Dart does, hence why you need this initial name. To call it, you just put the name of your function, so epic name, open close bracket, semicolon, and that's it. If you click run, as you can see, it's run whatever code is in here. Watch what happens if I duplicate this five times. It gets run five times. Obviously, it's a bit more code because we've had to do, you know, this. But imagine if this was a one line, this was like 20, 30 plus lines of code, which could, and this could be calling other methods as well, other functions. Methods, functions, subroutines, procedures, they're all the same thing. So if you hear me or you ever read it in a textbook or see it online or hear somebody say, they mean all the same thing. Just a way of grouping code together. And the one last thing I want to show you in this video is for a simple method like this, you can get rid of the void keyword and run it. As you can see, it still works fine. I recommend leaving the void keyword and in a future video, I'm going to explain the importance of you know what this is. But wait till then, we'll have some really epic functions created soon. If you have any questions though, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.